Okay, just because I know somebody is going to ask, the paints that I was using in this video are technically not fabric paints. Um, I was using Craftsmart branded paints. They're about a dollar per tube because I'm poor. Uh, but if you get yourself a textile medium, you can mix it with your paint and it makes any acrylic paint into a fabric paint. So I definitely recommend that. I was using the Folk Art brand and it was about $10 for, I think it's eight ounces. It might be more. I don't remember. But yeah, I would recommend that. Uh, I'm just gonna say there's gonna be a lot of movement and creatures are walking around me as I voice this over. Right, Miguel? Miguel? There's a goose in the background. Miguel is my art critique uh, buddy. She is a world-renowned artist. Isn't that right, Miguel? Miguel? Exactly. A good way to think about this is if you've ever put gesso on a canvas before. I hope that makes sense. So you know when you like get a brand new canvas, there's already a layer of acrylic paint on top. Well canvases, they, if you make them yourself, you gotta put that paint on there. And it kind of takes a little while to apply the paint because usually your gesso, which is like white acrylic paint, you have to water it down and the whole idea is like this, the paint like seeps into the canvas and you put on like two or three layers until it's a nice opaque layer of paint. <laughs> I hope I'm not being super like redundant here. Uh, but you're kind of doing the same thing here where um, you got to put a few layers on to make a good base for the details to go on top. Uh, your jacket's going to be kind of crunchy, I'm not going to lie, but this is for the aesthetic. It's not for comfort, it's for the vibe, it's for the look, it's for fashion, okay? So the theme of this painting is biblically accurate angels because they've kind of blown up all of a sudden. I'll link to a video that explains like what biblically accurate angels are. A uh, quick summary, apparently like in actual descriptions they have lots of eyes and they're covered with lots of wings and they're terrifying and fiery and there's rings of flames around them and they're basically aliens. So I got to thinking, well, why don't I make myself like a biker jacket? Because you know, sometimes there's like those cool Americana looking biker jackets with like embroidered angel wings on the back. But then I thought, oh my gosh, it'd be kind of cool to do that. But like a, a biblically accurate angel, that's the whole idea here. So yeah, that's the whole thing. It just like making it spooky is, is, the, is the plan here. Wings are really hard to paint. I, I can't really give you any tips on them. I guess it's kind of like painting roses where each layer builds upon the last layer. If that makes any, that doesn't make sense. I'm so sorry. I can't help you. I, it's just hard. I, I don't even, they don't even look that good to be totally honest. The bottom ones, I gave up. You can tell. I kind of was just like, I don't, I don't really want to try anymore. Um, I do have a video where I painted like little um, wings on a baby deer on a fawn and you can kind of see what I'm doing in that video. I'll link to that one too. A better resource is Stephanie Preman Law. She is awesome. She's an amazing watercolor artist. I will link her in my channel description as well because she just can paint anything and she's such a good teacher and I love her. I like, she's like my biggest inspiration, I think, with art. I just, everything she does is so amazing and I would, I, I, I wish I was her. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm gonna link her in the background. Um, you can see slowly, I was just kind of making things look weirder and weirder and grosser and grosser. I decided we'd kind of connect another eye within the eyes. I don't know what was happening. It was just, it was just, it was just happening. Um, and then I got kind of bored because I only have brown eyes and I felt like there wasn't much, um, I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> Eyelashes are hard to dry, draw too. You can see I was kind of struggling with that. Because I didn't have a tiny enough brush. If I had a smaller brush, I think it would have been easier. You know, honestly, I really wish that I knew when I was going to like Catholic school that angels looked this metal. I would have loved going to mass if like the stained walls had these disgusting scary spooky looking angels i would have been like dang it's like halloween up in here i love that like why wasn't this why wasn't this advertised to me why didn't i know miguel miguel she's untying all my shoelaces goose miguel can you hear her untying my shoelaces miguel stop it and now she's not even gonna talk to me miguel stop it right now what an evil little goose 
Why didn't you, I should have put a goose on my jacket. Actually, no, I shouldn't have. Geese are like the devil. Biblically accurate fallen angel jacket. We go. And now all the dogs are freaking out. Oh my gosh. Kiki, kiki. Not you. You're not a cat. You're a goose. Get it right. Miguel doesn't know that she's a goose. I actually, I don't know if Miguel is a boy or a girl either. I don't think she really is. It's a goose. I don't think she cares. Um, yeah, she eats toast. She's pretty cool. Miguel, goose, goose. Goose, goose, goose. Goose, goose, goose. Say hi. Okay, anyway. So, uh, sorry, I get distracted really easily. I need to, like, focus. Uh, uh, where was I? Uh... So, um, the best paint that I think you can get is the Craft Smart paint. I think I mentioned that earlier, not only because it's the cheapest, it's like 75 cents to a dollar per each little tube, but it's also like already kind of watered down, which I suppose, oh, bah, 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 excuse me, I suppose with like painting on a canvas would maybe be a problem, but I think with this project, because like I said, it's kind of like, um, putting gesso on a canvas, ma'am, ma'am. I'm trying to talk. It's it's like putting gesso on a canvas. It's kind of to your advantage if the paint is just a little bit watery. Hello, there's a cat. Meow. Tuba. I have a cat named Tuba and she's crying now. I don't know what she wants. Tuba, what's wrong? She said, stop talking about paint and give me attention. I'm busy right now. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, okay, so, um... <laughs> There are a whole bunch of- let me just tell you right now, I have a goose, there's three dogs, and three cats in this room right now, and they're all looking at me, and I feel very, very uncomfortable right now. Anyway, uh, I think the Craft Smart paint being kind of translucent is a little bit toward to your advantage with this project. Um, and if you want to make it more opaque, just add a little bit of white. Uh, yeah, so... That's, that's, that's why I would definitely recommend it. I think this project is pretty easy and pretty cheap, actually. I think for all the paints that I used, I probably only spent about $10 in paint. I did spend about $10 on the textile medium, and I already had most of my brushes, um, but you can probably get away with spending 3 to $4 on brushes. So, yeah. The hardest part was probably this heart. I am not an anatomy pro, as you can tell. It's just a complex strawberry. It, it really it, it, it is what it is. I think from afar it looks okay. If you squint, it looks okay. If you look a little too close, maybe there's like five aortas, but that's fine. You know, this person just has a very powerful heart. Don't worry about it. It's, it is what it is. I think I could have added a few more highlights and shadows. But, you know, whatever. This this is not an anatomy tutorial, uh, and it, it won't- it, I will not ever make anatomy tutorials. I still felt like it needed some extra pizzazz, so I decided to throw some scarab beetles on there. I just really like beetles, and I specifically like these green beetles. I think in Minnesota, these are like bad. I think these are like ash borers, honestly. I don't know, I, but I think these are bad. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up. I think these are an invasive species, so that's not good. Um, but they look cool. They're pretty. They're majestic. They're all iridescent and sparkly. And honestly, I kind of want to eat one. I don't know if that makes sense. They look like candy. And, like, old lady candy that, like, a grandma would have in her purse. Forbidden candy. <laughs> that's gross. Sorry for putting that, that image of someone crunching a beetle. Uh in your mind. That's just, that's nasty. Uh, Miguel agrees though. Miguel also thinks that they look tasty. Uh, and then I started painting a fish on this corner. Um, I didn't like it and I erased it because it just looked gross. I don't know. The scales just weren't looking right. You'd think that it would be easy to paint the scales because it's not that different from painting feathers, but like it really, they just didn't, it just didn't look right. It didn't look right. So I went back to uh, just having two beetles on the background and I added a few more details at the top and then I was done. <laughs>